Hi, I'm Janine and I'm on a road trip as you know and I have stopped here in Kentucky to visit with Lonnie and Twyla Money. We go way back when I first started my gallery but I haven't been to visit for a long time so I'm bringing a wonderful wonderful group of their art back to the gallery and I'd like to introduce you to Twyla and Lonnie Money and Lonnie, if you'd tell us just a little bit about how you got started, and Twyla, chime in. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I started out, you know, practically all my life, which this is what I wanted to do. Of course, I've done many other things, you know, through my life. Uh, worked in a factory for nine years, and on a dairy for several years, farm for 38 years, and done this all the time. So I've pretty much done it, you know, and it's kind of something, I guess, it's in me to do, you know. I, it's not kind of, I'm kind of driven, you might say, to do it uh, in a lot of respects because, you know, I just, uh, something I need to do. Mm -hmm. you know, and and mm -hmm. so I've, uh, we've got to where now that we can pretty much do this. This is all we do, you know, full time. And it's been really good, you know, that I do the carving. For a while I started out, I would carve little carvings and paint them. And I went through that stage and I felt like it, I was no painter. And then I started doing natural finish pieces. So I did those, but I didn't have much success with selling those natural finish pieces. Mm -hmm. They just didn't, the market just wasn't there. And certainly, well, I met a dealer in 1985, Larry Hackley, and, and I got to work with him making walking sticks, natural finish sticks, he'd buy them from me. And he encouraged me to paint. And I said, I can't paint. There ain't no way I'm going to paint nothing. I'll make something and I'll, I'll buy it. Well, I'd make something and he'd buy it. I mean, it looked awful, but he'd buy it. <laughs> and and he, he did that a few times. And then he got to come in, you know, and he would buy and make possums, pigs, and paint them. You know, I'd paint them two or three times. I couldn't get them right. And I got to where he's buying and things were going and I couldn't keep up. So I told Twyla, you're going to have to start painting. Of course, she said she couldn't, but then really, I guess we could say it took off at that point because it kind of connected to her, you know, her painting and all my work. It's kind mm -hmm. of, you know, a collaboration that really worked. And mm -hmm. So now you're doing it full time. Mm -hmm. Full time. I've been, I have been doing the painting for approximately 36 years. Oh, my goodness. And uh, I started out on the kitchen table painting. And we learned that Lonnie was colorblind, so that was partly the reason he couldn't get his pieces to look like he wanted them when he painted. So I started out, and I have been called the polka dot lady, <laughs> <laughs> which I do do a lot of polka dots, but I also do other designs too on the pieces. And I'd have never dreamed I would have wanted to paint. I never had no interest. My mom. She used to take me to the neighbors and places to paint their walls and things, but to paint items like these, I would have never dreamed. But uh, I really enjoy it. Both of us really enjoy our work, and when you enjoy something, mm -hmm. you've got to be careful. You will get burned out. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I'm 69, Lonnie's 72, and we're still doing this. Somewhere along the way, we got to slow down. Oh. But when you love doing what you do, mm -hmm. how do you slow down? How do you? <laughs> Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm.